You ask, we answer. Are these rumours true or false? We'll mark them 10 for a certainty and 0 for a fantasy. So, Edin Dzeko, probably going to leave Manchester City to go to Chelsea? Yeah, quite surprised by this one. It's, it's, he was supposed to be sort of going either back to the Bundesliga. Dortmund had shown an interest in him. Uh, and Napoli also been mentioned as part of the Edison Cavani deal, potentially to, to get him to, to Manchester City. Um, I, I mean, I, there's a, the sort of conspiracy theory on this is that, that Chelsea pull out of the running for Cavani and as a sort of show of gratitude, City allow them to sign Edin Dzeko because City instinctively wouldn't want to sell one of their better play, one of their players to, um, to, to a, a sort of title rival. Uh, I don't think that's, uh, that would send out the right messages for Chelsea though because you, you, you're, you're not buying a, a, a player that's re- made a massive impact at Manchester City here. You're buying someone who's been on the fringes, certainly last season, and maybe his, his, his em- impact hasn't been quite as impressive as, as they would have hoped at, at City. And I, I think if Mourinho goes in and, and starts, starts off with a Manchester City sort of reject, then I, I think that's, that sort of shows the market he's shopping in now, which is, is not what he would, he would have been signing up for, to be honest. So uh, if, if it comes down to it, if, if Roman Abramovich is saying to him, well, look, you're not going to be competing for £30 million players anymore, go and find me a £15 million striker, then fair enough, then there's a logic to it, and you give it a 6 or 7 out of 10. But instinctively, I'd say four or five. Mm. Now, is Daniel Agger leaving Liverpool to go to Monaco? Well, there are one or two reasons you might consider it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And the financial one is the strongest uh, imperative. Uh, uh, They're throwing huge sums of money around and there's no tax to pay. Agger's been at Liverpool for quite some time now and likes the club, clearly the club like him. But if they got a really good offer and it was good for him, I can see that then both sides think this is this is worth doing. Um, I wouldn't say it's an absolute nailed uncertainty, but I think you've got to consider it a real possibility of the seven to eight bracket, because Aga fancies a payday. Who wouldn't at the end of their career? Well, one potential move which seems to be harding up Henrik uh, Mkhitaryan going from Shakhtar to Liverpool. Yeah, and the, it's gaining some credibility, this one, and you would think there's one good reason for that. If Suarez goes, this is the player that they, they might uh, be looking at. He can play up top or he can play, you know, that withdrawn role. And he's, you know, he's the best thing to come out of Armenian football pretty much ever. <laughs> <laughs> I know that doesn't say a lot, but he scored 25 goals in the Ukrainian league, which is a record uh, this season. He's looking for a move to the Premier League, um, apparently said to be very, very quick. And sharp, so I could see Liverpool fancying this if if Suarez goes, uh, it, not if they hold on to him. On the one hand, it could be a seven. On the one hand, it could be a naught if Suarez stays. But um, it might be worth you know having a go for to keep in their back pocket. You know, if if the inevitable does happen, as begins to look likely over this summer. So I'll, I'll go for a middling six on this one. Well, 25 goals largely from midfield. That'll get anyone's attention. Thanks for joining us on lysapitch.co.uk.